Hey everyone, you're looking live on tape from a very rainy day here at the Magic Kingdom. We're only 10 days from Christmas, so I thought I'd pop in. This is one of my last non-blacked out days on my Sorcerer's Pass to get in the parks. So I thought I'd take advantage, even though it is steadily raining big time here at Magic Kingdom today. Today I wanted to go into the Christmas shop. This is in Liberty Square, and I'm sure you've ever been there. to do a little merch tour check that out thanks for joining me glad you did let's get to it just a bit of wayfinding right across from sleepy hollow is the ye old christmas shop and then a tip from the pros i gotta give a shout out to adam hatton and gary c they watch the parade from this almost every single time and it is a great view of the parade the flights go right by it but we're gonna pop in here and see if there's any Christmas deals that we spot. A lot of people I've been noticing on the Facebook have been wanting, looking for this monorail. It's on sale now for $75. It started out at $150. So half off right now for you monorail people. It has been sold out in other stores in the park, but I am seeing a three, at least three of them here, here at Cash Connection this morning, which you have to be an employee or a cast member at Disney to, to get entrance, but they had some there as well. But with the rain, everybody's kind of driving. So that's a better view of that monorail. You see there, $75. Pretty good deal there. But as you might imagine, just about any type of Christmas ornament, Disney related from all IPs. I mean, even so far as the drill down to like, okay, all I want is Captain America, no problem. You can personalize these ornaments as well, which makes an awesome gift. As always, I always look behind the register. That's where they generally have a lot of good stuff hidden. And let's get over there and take a peek. So we do have the Lionel train set. I believe that's $500 for the Christmas train set. And then we have some different figures about an only video on this lady without her permission. And generally these ornaments are running between $20 and $30 depending on the fanciness level. So like for example, this sketchbook Mickey Bell you're going to look at. I'm going to get $24.99. $22. Not far off there. They're all about that range. Now these are cool. We actually just bought something real similar to this. Michelle's kind of putting together a Mickey Village on a coffee table and picked one of the pieces up at Cast Connections for a really good price. Now, I have not seen this guy. Another Mickey's train set here. It's kind of cool. But those of you that might know, or I'm actually going to do a, a video of that this week of my Mickey Christmas display. Kind of curious how much this train costs. All right. <clears throat> train set's going to go 149 which not terrible, but I mean, definitely cheaper than the 50th monorail. And it looks like it's 38 piece set. Yeah, it looks like three cars, the caboose and the engine Christmas train set, 150. I think that's probably a better buy than that monorail, honestly. That monorail is just awfully, awfully pricey, or it was. Now being 75, I don't know. This is kind of odd. It's like a Mickey watch. I'm gonna guess on this. I'm gonna say $24.99. I'm sorry, $29. I'm gonna put that back for another day. This is also behind the counter area. These ornaments here, that ornament pack with the golden statue, we have that and bought it um, at Cast Connection. I'm not sure exactly what that's going to cost. Tip from the pros also, 
they charge twenty dollars for these light up Mickey heads. I wore a set to a Christmas event. I got it Dollar General for a dollar. So you don't have to spend a crazy amount of money. Right now we're gonna pop out and catch a little bit of the rainy day cavalcade. We're kind of hiding underneath the stoop, if you will. Stay out of the rain. So if you've never seen the rainy day cavalcade, it's a special parade they do obviously when it's raining so instead of like today they had scheduled a festival of fantasy parade one at three and one at six excuse me one at noon one at three well they can't do that with all the weather so instead they'll do the, the rainy day cavalcade which is not as good honestly but at least it's something and if you've never seen it mark it off your bucket list michelle pick this up Got a little Chippendale 100 Years of Wonder celebration. Pretty cool. And when this parade gets going a little bit better, this cavalcade gets going a little bit better, I'll pop out, get the umbrella up, and give you guys a better view. Do that now. Actually. Yeah, this little corner right by this car. Again, shout out to Adam and Gary C. All right, I'm starting to see characters come down. Christmas shop. They do have an area, obviously not going on right now with the weather, but you can meet Santa. But I don't, I don't think I've ever been back in here, honestly. Looks like they got a couple chill spots there.
Yeah, here's the queue. Then you'd go up there underneath that pagoda if you wanted to meet Santa in Magic Kingdom, which would be pretty awesome if you're a kid, meet Santa at Magic Kingdom. But, and this is a Christmas party day, which means, so a regular ticketed guest, annual pass guest, park closes at six. So you, generally speaking, you do see lighter crowds on a day like today, but it, I mean, it looks pretty busy. It is 10 days before Christmas, but it does look busier than I would, I would have thought. But, is that Splash Mountain? They are still running Splash in the rainstorm. Get on them. I gotta do that before the 23rd. January 23rd will be the last day of that version of Splash Mountain. And I've got to make sure and hit that at least once before it shuts down for good. I've got a ton of Splash Mountain videos but it's nothing quite the same as actually riding it. Really looking forward to it. I'm not gonna do it today because it's just pouring rain, but I'm gonna get a quick idea on wait times. I'm just gonna take a peek at Haunted Mansion and see what's doing over there. You see, it's pretty, pretty darn busy. I'd give this right here about a five on a 10. Not crazy, but definitely busier than anticipated. How many times have you heard me say that? A lot, I know, right? <laughs> the people with no protection, I'm just curious about because they've been talking about this really bad storm front for a week, produced some tornadoes in New Orleans that's worked its way down here. It's supposed to bring a cold front this weekend. So I'm looking forward to because today it's about 78 degrees, so it's just hot and wet basically. That's it. But they've been talking about it for a week. So how are you surprised or whatever? I don't know. 45 minutes for Haunted Mansion. Probably skip on that. Well, it looks terrible. I don't know. I think we'll save that for another day probably start honestly working working our way out here did see the train on the way in which is exciting I haven't seen that in about three years so that was cool wasn't running I don't know if they're testing today or not but really cool to see it can't wait to enjoy that once it's back up and running I think we'll cut through Fantasyland and start heading our way out I think that's gonna do it. Can't really fight this weather when it's this bad. It's lightning and thundering and pretty much pouring rain. So I think we're gonna make our way out of the park. But I did get one last little taste before actual Christmas here at the Magic Kingdom, so I'm not mad about that. Thanks for joining me, glad you did. If you liked what you saw today, make sure you subscribe. And if you hated what you saw today, blame the weather. I can't control that. As always, keep the parks clean.